Hello again, Craig here from ForbiddenKnowledge.info. We are in far western Utah. We are at the Bonneville Salt Flats. Now, there is no salt here right now because we're actually in mid to late April and there's still water. But that's where we're at. Uh, the, the location doesn't matter so much as it does the other videos that this video is meant to accompany. This video is intended to show people uh, about how I took those tests of all the radiation readings up and down the beaches of the West Coast, all the way from Canada down to Mexico. Because this video is accompanying those for those who are questioning my methods of how I conducted the test. Let me show you what's been done here. This is a standard tripod, lightweight aluminum tripod. This is the base for our tests. This set up here are two Geiger counters. I'm going to turn them both on. I'm going to first turn on the Mazur PRM9000. It's on. And then we're going to turn on the GQ GMC320 Plus with a Geiger Muller tube. Now, these two units are both right now set in counts per minute. Counts per minute, counts per minute. They're both reading zero at the moment. But now, the GQ is now reading some, it'll go up. These digital meters take some time to catch up. And right now, the, the Missouri just jumped to 73. The GQ is still catching up. A little bit longer reaction time on the GQ. But, these two units, let me explain about these two units. This is what was used for the test. These right now are both set in CPMs, counts per minute. This one has a standard geiger Muller tube. Uh, the tube is enclosed, I'll show you that later. The Mazur has a pancake probe. They're mounted in this crude wooden thing just so I can mount them to my tripod easier. On the back we have, this is the Mazur, it's a pancake probe, detects alpha, beta, gamma, and x-ray. You'll see the wood is removed far from the probe so the wood does not block any radiation. Same with the GQ. We've got the wood removed all around the tube. Now the tube is under those slots there. It's a long horizontal tube under those slots. So you see the wood is cut far away so there's no blockage of any radiation in either unit. They're both going to detect the same thing. Okay, they're slid in this base here and the, the Mazur I have to sometimes reactivate and I'll probably have to fix that for the videos when I do them. But anyway, right now it's reading 27, this reading 23. Actually they're pretty close at the moment. But usually the Mazur will be a lot farther away because the Mazur detects alpha, beta, gamma and x-ray where this, this GQ only detects gamma, uh, I'm sorry, beta, gamma and x-ray. So this one tests for three things, this one tests for four things. And you'll, this number on the Mazur will always be higher than the GQ, sometimes by twice. This is to show you. Now these both units are both new. I sell these units, so I've got new ones for these tests. So that's how that's set up. Now let me show you. I'm going to put it and I can hopefully you'll see this as I do it. We are putting it, my little crude invention here, and we're going to lock it in place. The reason for this is portability. You see, so now I have both of those mounted so I can carry both units and the camera, which will be mounted right here and we'll be able to see the numbers. And if you've already seen the videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We put it in here, lock it in place, and now we can see both units and what the readings is if I wake up this Mazur. You see, they're quite different. It's almost twice the Mazur generally. And I can walk around freely with one hand. You see, big change, because I can't hold three things at once and still do this. And I can still talk with you this way if I don't face the sun. So, this is the way I've conducted the tests. It's all in the up and up, and to show you that, let's go to one more thing. And sorry for the sun in your eyes. Sun's going down here. Here's what I've done. This is a Fiesta Wear plate. And all during these tests, at the very end of the video, we're gonna do this to show you, and you watch the numbers and listen, Now you see right away the Mazur is jumping up a lot quicker. Well, actually they're both going pretty quick. Now we've really jumped on the Mazur, still trying to catch up on the GQ. The point here is, this plate is equal distance from the two. I'm going to wake this one up again. The point is, there's no funny business here. These can read high readings. There's just no high readings of the beach like you want them to be if you're into fear porn. If you're really trying to find 
videos that show you you're gonna die from Fukushima, this is definitely the wrong place to go. Because I know, for a fact, because I know how radiation travels. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna talk while you watch these numbers and see how they go down. See how long it takes for them to go down. But the fact of the matter is, folks, Geiger counters are the wrong things to use for beach radiation tests. Because you're not gonna find any radiation from Fukushima on any beach in the world except maybe the, the Fukushima prefecture. You're not going to find any radiation at any beach in the world. Let me keep waking this up because I'm sure it's probably not woken up. And uh, except for, well, actually I messed up here. Let me go back. Okay, there we go. It wasn't, it was sleep yet. You're not going to find any radiation on any beach in the world with a Geiger counter from Fukushima. Sorry, it's just a fact of life. All the fearmonger videos, they have a trick behind them. If they're showing high radiation on a beach, they have some kind of trick behind them. Or there's something growing, going on locally, but it can't be from Fukushima because you really need a mass spectrometer. You have to take soil, water, or air samples in order for that to happen. It's a very expensive unit. It takes a very high level of knowledge. It's not something you're going to see on YouTube uh, on the beach radiation readings. That's just a fact of life. Sorry. If you're coming here for fear porn, you're not getting it here. Now see how both these units have now settled down and they're reading again normal and it doesn't matter if I put it on water or salt it's still not going to reach one that's going to probably going to stain on the salt water you're still not going to read high readings at the water same thing on the beach but we'll show you that so that's it this was only meant to show you how the tests were conducted thanks everybody for watching so long